The St. Catherine police have launched an investigation into the murder of a businesswoman in Spanish Town on Tuesday. Dead is Opal Bennett, a 40-year-old 40 40 bartender of Carlet Wood, Spanish Town in St. Catherine. About 1.20 a.m., Bennett was found along March Penn Road with what appeared to be gunshot wounds to the upper body. She was transported to Spanish Town Hospital where she succumbed to her injuries. No motive has been established in the matter. A taxi driver was shot while sitting at a shop along the Sandy Bay Main Road in Hanover on Monday evening. The deceased has been identified as 37-year-old German hunter, otherwise called Richie, a resident of Balgown in Montpellier in the parish. Information reaching Observer Online indicate at about 6.30 p.m., Hunter Park is grey 2010 Toyota Wish motor car beside a shop at the intersection of the high level and Sandy Bay roads. He reportedly sat on a chair outside when a yellow motorcycle with two men aboard drove up and opened gunfire hitting him. Residents, upon hearing the loud explosion, summoned the police who found the deceased lying on his back in a pool of blood, suffering from gunshot wounds. He was taken to the Noel Holmes Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Police say a motive for the killing has not even been established. Hunter is the second taxi driver to be murdered in as many, in as many days. On Sunday, two cabbies were shot, one fatally along the Whitehall Avenue in St. Andrew. A businessman was shot dead at his establishment in Darlingston, West Milan on Monday night. He has been identified as 36-year-old Dwayne Kinglock. Reports from the police are that Kinglock was inside his shop when he was pounced upon by two armed men with handguns, who opened gunfire at him before making their escape on foot in the community. Observer online understand that 17 9mm spent casing were retrieved from the scene. The police were summoned and upon their arrival they discovered King Rock lying on his back inside the shop on a, on a refrigerator. He was transported to Savannah Mar Public Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Investigations are ongoing.